This is the problem with your damage in Diablo 4. What is it? I'm going to show you why your character feels weak after progressing the end game and how to fix that. Why Players often have the feeling that the monster level scaling make the monsters stronger and stronger, while uh -huh. the character gets weaker even though we level up. So what is the main problem here? While we level up, we are taught that the green number in the item comparison means that a new item is better. We also get that dopamine rush when a legendary drops, assuming that legendaries and uniques are the best items in the game. They're not. This is mostly true before we reach the endgame phase in Diablo 4. Then things start to change. Players feel that they rarely get an item upgrade because the item power doesn't scale up to level 100. Often all yellows are instantly sold and dismantled and we only take a look at the legendaries. But here's the first problem. In order to get more powerful we have to start to actually look at the yellow items that drop. Not only the armor- Is, it re is this video guide really read the stats on your gear? Because I am so fucking sad to say that people need this. Yeah, people need this video. This is actually super important and the DPS value matters, but the other stats get much more important. This means that items that have a lower item power might actually be much better for your DPS output. Since we learned it in a different way during leveling, this might be unintuitive and confusing at first. I hear you say, but Nino, so which stats are important and why? First, we have it to depends. understand how damage works in Diablo 4. To get us started, look at these two weapons and answer for yourself. Which, which one's better? What the fuck? I mean, this one's better. It's obviously better. Which one is better? Pause the video if you want to think about it. We will answer the question later yeah. together. The items in Diablo 4 have tons of different damage stats. Crit chance, damage while bleeding, versus distant right, enemies, right. blah blah blah. That's a nice in short, there are a lot of them. But they work differently than you might think at first. All the mods are grouped in so-called damage buckets, which are additive within the bucket, but multiplicative with other buckets. Check Snow Raven's spreadsheet here to see which stats are on which bucket. I see your face though, so don't worry. I will explain it with an example and make it as simple as it's possible. Promise. Okay. Let's say it's our attack does a base damage of 100 with each hit. To start simple, we assume that our gear gives us only 30% increased damage versus close targets. Right. So how much damage would we do? We calculate 100 times 1.3, which is 130 damage. There it is. Yay, this is correct. A 30% damage increase. Woo. Now we get a new item that gives us another 30% damage with core skills, and we use a core skill. How would the damage look now? Intuitively... Uh, I think they're both... Aren't these both additive? So I think it'll be a 1.6, right? If we would assume that our current additive. damage is 130 and we multiply it again by 1.3, which results in 169 damage. But since both no. stats are in the same bucket, they're additive. So we yeah, have- Yeah, and, and also like keep in mind, not only are they additive, but close enemy snapshots. So in order for you to get your damage bonus for close enemies, you actually have to get up close to them and then recast Whirlwind in order for the close bonus to actually count. To add the 30% versus close targets and the 30% with core skills yeah. together to 60%. The calculation would therefore be 100 times 1.6, which equals to 160 damage. Yeah. So we went up stupid. from 130 yeah, to 160 damage, which is only a 23% increase, even though right. we got an item that clearly says plus 30% damage. And this is where the main- I really don't like this, by the way, because there's nothing that is intuitive about it. There's nothing that like makes sense about this uh, about this stuff. It's kind of like increased and more in PoE. There is no reason for like a a a logical person would not be able to make that distinction. It's super confusing. You must hate Path of Exile. No, I don't hate it because I know everything about it. Like I I, I don't know everything about it. Right? Nobody knows everything about Path of Exile. But like I understand a lot of the stats and how they work together problem lies. The more we stack stats from the same damage bucket, the less we get overall. If you already have 200% from one bucket and get an item with another 50%, your actual damage only increases by 16.67%. The diminishing returns yeah. are pretty heavy. Now, let's take a look at our last example that explains why a lower damage weapon might be better than a higher one. Here we have a weapon that does 100 damage per hit and one with only 90 damage. This is 10% lower weapon it's damage, which damage. is pretty big. The 90 damage weapon has 50% core skill damage, 50% yeah. crit damage, and 50% vulnerable damage. And also crit damage scales differently because of critical strike chance so if you have a high critical strike chance that modifies the effectiveness of critical strike damage like whereas like so so like critical strike damage has like a varying value whereas like core skill damage is 30 percent no matter what close damage is 30 percent no matter what uh bleeding damage is 30 percent no matter what uh you know assuming they're bleeding what, the hundred damage no shit bro you say no shit but like this is actually like people don't fucking know this stuff it sounds so dumb but they actually have no idea
Weapon has 50% core skill damage, 50% versus CC'd enemies, and 50% versus close enemies. Now we hit a vulnerable enemy with a crit. Note yeah. that the base damage of a crit is already at 50% extra damage, and the base damage of vulnerable damage is 20% extra. We calculate the damage for the 100 damage weapon like this. All of the damage modifiers are in one bucket, so it's 150% increased damage. The damage would be 100 times 2.5 times 1.5 times 1.2, which equals to 450 damage. The calculation for the 90 damage weapon looks like this. The three damage stats are from different buckets and are added to the base value of crits and vulnerable damage. This increases our crit damage to 100% oh, oh, okay. extra I, I and the vulnerable damage okay. to 70% extra. The damage would be 90 times 1.5 times the other one. 2 times 1.7, which equals to 459 damage. Yep. So even though our weapon is 10% worse in raw item power, it does overall more damage with crits and vulnerable damage. This is why a lower DPS weapon can be much stronger if it has the correct stats. The conclusion is that you always want to check your yellow items and do- The conclusion is not that. Just make sure, look, well, here's what the fucking conclusion is, guys. You play Diablo 4, you want vulnerability on your fucking weapon, okay? If a if a, a a slot can roll vulnerability, you want vulnerability. And not only do you want it, but it's the most important stat. That's what everything is based off of. It is a fucking multiplier. It is the best thing to have, and you should have it on everything as much as possible. It's that simple. Everything else doesn't fucking matter. Critical strike damage is a second. Now, strength is a little bit different. Main stat is a little bit different. I actually don't know how that scales because I never researched it. Three things. Try and get as many stats from different damage buckets as possible. Make the enemy strength vulnerable somehow and increase your crit chance. Also look out for cooldown reduction, resource cost yeah, reduction, and attack speed. So watch out for good yellow items, upgrade them, and imprint them with legendary powers to get actual good endgame items in Diablo 4. Right. Now let's take a look again at the two weapons from the beginning of the video. This is an Can you now tell? Bro, if I got this, I, I would... Oh my god, bro, if I got this, this would... This right here, this weapon would change my life. Which one is better? Thanks for watching. Yeah, bye it bye. would change my life. I'll probably get a weapon better than that today. It's all situational in my opinion, but okay. No, it's not. Vulnerability damage is better in every situation and there's no exceptions. Yeah, it's actually not situational. Uh, it's better in all situations. So yeah, keep it in mind. Yeah, this is a great video. Obviously, uh, you know, for a lot of you guys that are, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, like maybe like Diablo players, you're, you're, you, you know, you came from Path of Exile. Uh, you played Diablo 2. Like this video is like, Duh. Duh, of course. But I think for a lot of people that haven't, this is probably going to be really useful for you. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I was able to show it because this is incredibly, uh, incredibly useful for people, especially new players and people that aren't used to the uh, the game. Uh, it's true, uh, but uh, if any build can't apply vulnerability, does it not work? And is it sad? I think you can just, uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can apply vulnerability pretty easily. 